send it to the artists that I want to be. I demonstrate my dominance and derelict with dialect. My etiquette is excellence. I dedicate my all to this. I solemnly swear it. I serenade with selections of different cadences. Yes. The killer really is that in this. And anyone that wants the truth that we present to be identified. I live a mega life. I'm motivated by progression. Because a year ago, nobody paid attention to the What's up everyone, I'm Big Bug, welcome back to another Euro Fishing video. So before we go any further or you see me catch my new personal best, I just want to congratulate Kyle Carter and Paul Roberts for winning the PSN code. Your suggestions for everyone's suggestion was amazing on what you'd like to see added to the game. Now during this video I'm going to be fishing random parts of the lake. I've got so many more boss fish to show you guys but this one contains four and a new personal best. So without further ado, let's crack on. Don't forget to smash that like for me, that's really important. And if you're new around here and you like what you see, subscribe. Right, let's crack on. Right, so for many of you, you'll recognize this part of the lake that I am on. It's the sort of middle section, and I'm tucked right in the corner as it was. Now, if you're not sure, you need to sort of venture around and find it. This is a really nice part of the lake. I'm fishing along I've sort of cast out where you can see rod two there. I've cast out to the left there and I'm into a good fish here. This feels so good. Don't forget this is gonna this video is gonna be on random parts of the lake, guys. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. We're using tiger nuts, activate boilies, dumbbells, uh the usual sort of big fish baits. I've got an awesome video coming your way soon about stalking. Um, I need to clear up a few bits on that. I've also got some more boss fish uh, ready to go, ready to edit. That'll be tomorrow's video. And I promise you I will be doing a live stream at some point tonight. And I will be also announcing the video uh, soon, announcing the giveaway for the t-shirts, guys. That is coming your way soon. This feels like a good fish. Just give me a good battle. It's not ripped me around the lake too hard. Feels like a big carp. It's got that long, slow plod. I think I just see it's back. Yeah, that's a carp tail. Looks decent. Let's have a look at it. Oh, nice. Look at that. Definitely a fish I've had before. I've seen this fish a few times before, actually. This fish is black eye, I think. Yep, yeah, black eye. There you go. 34 pound. Really long, thin linear, or what we call a zip line. Um, really nice. I mean, I would definitely rename this fish the cod or something like that just because of its the way it looks. Looks like a tuna or something. Call it the tuna. <laughs> well, let's get this one back and I'll show you the next part of the lake that I went to uh, to catch the next boss fish. So here we are. We're in my usual favourite corner. We're just, uh, I've got the rod sort of spread out, which isn't something I do often. You guys know me by now. You know I like to keep the rods quite tight, but I'm starting to fish it a little bit different because I'm now just hunting for four boss fish, uh, five, beg your pardon, big ruby, small plated, big plated, pink belly and the hulk, and no, six, and muddy back is the other one that I need. So we're only hunting six boss fish right now. It feels like a decent fish, this. Got to say, the real strength's up at 41. If this was a boss fish or anything, it would probably need to be a lot lower than that but just sort of play this in the other rod's going crazy as well feels decent it's not massive but it is giving a good account for itself so we'll see what happens here and uh hopefully i do apologize about any background noise you can hear kids shouting etc it is the middle of summer guys the windows are wide open so you will hear that i'm afraid there we go feels decent it feels like a decent little fish this it's probably one of those sort of mid double carp i would say right let's quickly put that in catch mode so we know that fish is sitting there as soon as that symbol goes blue and your other rod's going off just pick the other rod up straight away let that fish sit almost like it's in the net really oh the other rod's going as well wow we are really tearing it up right now we're on the uh, tiger nuts and activates size four hooks feels good it's kind of veering don't go that way don't go that way that is awesome right we've pulled him back oh oh gotta be careful just here because they do like to uh get up the bank just there so let's just pull that back very nice that is really cool 
I've got some real exciting videos coming your way, guys. Honestly, uh, stuff I want to show you right now, you will never believe. It's totally opened my eyes up to how to fish on this game. And definitely excited about bringing that video to you tomorrow. It's, uh, it's fighting hard, this fish. Wow. And that other rod's still bleeping away. I don't think it's anything big on the other rod. He's, he's staying quite close. Oh, yep, yeah, he's ready. Let's jump on that other rod. See how we get on with this one. Feels good. They always feel good. As soon as you pick the rod up, they feel really nice. They give that hard little fight. And then if they're not all that, they just kind of give up. Doesn't feel too bad. It's it's kind of just holding 27 yards and it's it's on the surface. It's you can see by the depth in the bottom left corner. Early hours of the morning fish, gotta love it. Big shout out to Melts Gaming also. He's in the lobby and PS Docs. Check out Melts Gaming guys. Go check his channel out. Right here we go. I do apologise about all the screaming and shouting in the background, guys. You know, kids having a good time. Can't stop that. Right, here we go. That's, uh... Oh, he's trying to get in them raids. He's definitely trying to get in them raids. Let's get him in the net. See what we got then, guys. Three rods, three fish. Nice little common. £20, 8 ounces. Beautiful colours, but we're going to skip to the next fish. See what we've got. Someone else's rod's going off. Someone fishing next to me. Let's have a look what we got here. Oh, look at that. I've definitely had this fish before. Is that? Yeah, definitely. Brownie. Nice. Nice addition. Another boss fish. Absolutely over the moon. But that, to be fair, a boss fish is a boss fish, right? So let's get him back and change a spot now. We're back in the middle opposite the caravan. So we're on the other side of the lake to the caravans. I'm fishing at about 30 yards. As you cast over 30 yards, what you get is like um, a gravel bar. As you wind it back, you it drops off the gravel bar onto the sill, and that's where I'm fishing. Is. So you sort of cast to 35 yards, wind it back 5 yards, and it drops off the gravel bar and into the sill. Nice. Just doing a bit of spotting. Second rod's just ripped off. So get on that straight away now I'm after I've got six boss fish I'm chasing down at the moment eh, not massive only small feels okay it's got that lurch of a bream or the roach or something where it kind of sort of jolts and then does, goes fast and then slow and then fast wow it's fighting hard under the tip oh my god Come on, we got this. Get in the net. Come on. Oh, wow. It's just not moving. It's almost like it's welded to the bottom of the lake bed. Oh, oh, don't want to lose it. Trying to give it a bit of stick. See if we can get it up into the net. Let's give it some stick. Yes, here we go. Yeah, it's not massive. What's that, a tench? Looks like a tench. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that for a roach. I've never caught that one before. It's got a pink eye. That is really bizarre. Oh, it's Big Ruby. Very nice. That's another one off the uh, the boss fish list. Big Ruby over the moon with that. Four pound roach. I've, I've never seen the pink eye of that fish before. So I wasn't even sure if it was a boss, to be fair. So here we are, back in my favourite corner. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's the top left-hand corner of St. John. I've got three rods out. All t uh, clustered tight together. I'm using tiger nuts and pop-up tiger nuts also. So let's just see what happens. The lake's gone a little bit quiet. Having had them sort of boss fish and I've sort of gone over a, a day or two on the lake. Um, sort of ripped off a bit there. Let's get that in. It's not big. Nah, not big. Yeah, um, it's, so it's kind of random. I'm sort of showing you different clips throughout the session that I was on here. A uh, few people sort of come and go when we're playing. See how we get on. Doesn't feel very big, this fish. In fact, I bet it's one of them tiny ones. Yeah, look at that. 
One pound seven ounces. There's no way that's one pound seven ounces. Whoa, whoa. Did you see the size of that cattail? And the rod ripped off straight away. Oh. Right, we got 32 on the reel. It's maxed out. I'm using 25 pound lime right now. Really going to town. Sort of 30, 31, 32. This is a good fish. This is definitely going to be a boss cat. You could see the tail sort of pop up in the air as it sort of got its head down to feed. That is awesome. Wow, this is really going for it. 50 yards right now. It's running really well. This is on the pop-up tigers. And again, it's in my, my favourite corner. The wind is on sort of dynamic and we've got light clouds. I believe that was the setup for it. It's just after four in the afternoon on the game. So, wow, look at this fish. This fish is absolute monstrous. It's ripping away. It's just heading for the horizon. Look at that. 80 yards right now. 84. Wow. I hope this is uh, the Hulk or something like that. What are the three cats I need? I need Pink Belly, Muddy Back, and the Hulk are the cats I need. Um, I've been snapped up on here a couple of times by big cats, so all oh, the other rods go in there as well. I love that how you sort of stand there fishing, you see a random leaf just drop in front of the sort of drop in front of the camera as it was. I think that's quite amusing. Or you get flies flying around you. Gotta love this game. This game is awesome. Right, he's staying out there. 118, 120 yards right now. Boy, if this is one of the cats that, I, that I'm after, this will be my personal best. My personal best is 76 pounds, which was um, silver tail, which, I, as you saw in the, one of the last videos, I caught twice. So if this is one of the other three that I need, because all the three catfish I need are the three biggest ones. So who knows? Fingers crossed. It feels like a good fish. It's just ripping away. 144 yards now. We're just going to up the tension, try and sort of ease it back, slow it down in its tracks a bit. It's not really working. 150 yards. Uh, the reel is on 37, which is not super uh, super high. Just crank it a bit more. Oh, careful. Yeah, cranked it up and it went up into the red. That line strain went straight into the, the sort of, you get that bleep. Don't want to lose it, that's for sure. 159 yards right now wow not a fight that I feel like I've had before I'm getting excited about this I've got a feeling this could be one of the three that's missing come on oh he's coming back towards me quite quick 140 oh easy Just trying to keep that line strain up as high as I can by adjusting that reel and at least he's sort of sitting in front of me. He's not kiting left or right. He's not trying to go towards any of the banks. He's just sort of staying dead central. Which is ideal. God, that other rod's doing me easy. Come on. There we go. Feels good though. Feels good. We're still at a hun over 100 yards. 108 yards. Oh, the other rods can't. The other lines come off. That's good. I wonder how many boss fish I've lost like that, where it's you've got a big fish on and you hear it bleeping away, then you get the old <laughs> Love it. Just taking my time, I don't want to lose this fish. I, when I've got big fish on like this, my hands start to swear and I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure. I don't want to lose it, especially at this stage of the game where I'm only hunting down sort of, what, five fish now after big ruby. So, literally, all we're after is small plated, big plated, muddy back, pink belly, and the Hulk. I think they're the only ones. So, that would be absolutely awesome. Seen the tail come out, it was a big tail. Just taking my time now. You don't want to overdo it. I mean, I, I, on a live stream, some of you might have seen before, I was really giving the fish some stick and I lost it, which was, was my own stupidity, really. So I just want to take my time. We've got him down to 38 yards right now, so 
he's on his way he's on his way in guys we'll just take our time might be silver tail again it's quite a similar fight to silver tail if i remember rightly it does feel that kind of fish you know Ooh, nice big tail has it got a pink belly that's what we want to know we caught the roach with the pink eye big ruby hence how it got its name i suppose wow look at that tail it's huge oh come on don't lose it now this is the danger what i call the danger zone once you get into sort of 10 yards nine yards um it starts flapping around like this you can see the line tension bouncing you just got to keep calm make sure you're not maxing it out here we go come on eight yards we're doing the eight yard dash we are definitely in that danger zone Oh, no, back out to nine. This is a huge fish. This is massive. Come on. Doesn't look like Silvertail. Silvertail, wow. Look at that. Yeah, Silvertail looks a bit different. Look at that. Oh, wow, come on, come on. Let's get it in. I'm really under pressure here. I don't want to lose this fish. Come on. Just get it, get in the net. It's really holding out. I get it to sort of seven, eight yards. It goes back out to 10, 11 yards. It's just not tiring. The pressure's on. The hands are sweating. My mouth's going dry with excitement. Come on. This fish is as mad as a box of frogs, I swear to you. He just doesn't want to come in. He's like, no, no, I'm coming in. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to fight a little bit. Oh, please don't go under that tree. I'm sure there's a snag under that tree. I've been caught out there before. No, no. Line's gone slack. Oh, yes, he's ready for the net. Look at the size of it. It can't even go. Oh, my days. Let's get it in. Let's have a look. Look at that. That was like an underwater submarine. Oh, is that, that looks like it could be silver tail. That could be silver tail, that one. Let's have a look. Muddy bag, yes! 86 pounds of pure fighting submarine machine. That that fish fought like a demon. I've got to be honest. Took us out to, what, 150 yards? That is brilliant. New personal best. Thank you for watching, guys. There is so much more to come, and I'll catch you on the next one. T-shirt giveaway soon. Hit the like, subscribe. Peace.